Story one, a follower you don't want to follow back. Submitted by Ryan. I was a junior in high school and I was part of the student council. One of our responsibilities was to help out with school events. And on this particular evening, we had a late night event. It was around 10 p.m. when everything wrapped up and most of the students had already left. Only a few of us remained tidying up the gym in the hallways. My friend Jess, who was also on the council, mentioned that she left her bag in one of the classrooms. The school was pretty big and the classroom she was talking about was in the old building, which was always a bit eerie at night. I offered to go with her, but she said she'd be fine and would be back in a jiffy. While I was waiting for her, I decided to hang out in the security room. The school had recently installed a new CCTV system, and I was curious to see how it worked. The security guard was a friendly guy named Mr. Roberts. He was on his break, so he showed me how to switch between cameras and zoom in and out. It was pretty cool, to be honest. As I was playing around with the controls, I switched the cameras that showed the corridor leading to the old building. It was dimly lit, but I could make out Jess walking down the hallway, heading towards the classroom. I watched her for a bit, just out of boredom, really. But then, something caught my eye. A few meters behind Jess, there was a man. He was tall, wearing a dark hoodie and jeans. I couldn't see his face, but he was following her, matching her pace. My heart started racing. This wasn't a teacher or a janitor. I'd never seen him before. And why was he in the school so late? I tried to call Jess, but she didn't pick up. I watched in horror as she entered the classroom, and the man paused for a moment before slowly approaching the door. He stood there, just outside, listening. I didn't know what to do. I shouted for Mr. Roberts, but he was still on his break, probably outside having a smoke. I felt so helpless, watching this unfold on the screen. Then, something unexpected happened. The school's alarm went off, blaring loudly. The man looked startled, glanced around, then quickly retreated, disappearing from the camera's view. Jess came running out of the classroom, looking terrified. I bolted from the security room and met her halfway. She was shaking, and when I told her what I had seen, she went pale. Turns out, she hadn't seen the man at all, but when she was in the classroom, she felt this weird vibe, like she was being watched. She decided to leave, and on her way out, she accidentally knocked over the projector, which triggered the school's alarm. We reported it to the police, and they did a sweep of the school, but found no one. They checked the CCTV footage, and sure enough, the man was there, just as I described, but they couldn't identify him. To this day, we don't know who he was or what he wanted. The school increased its security after that, and Mr. Roberts got a bit of a talking to for leaving his post. But I can't shake off that feeling of dread, knowing if the alarm hadn't gone off, things might have turned out very differently. Story 2 Empty Frame Submitted by Always By Your Side It was a typical Friday evening and I was staying late at school for a project. My school had this old CCTV room which was more like a small closet with a bunch of monitors. I had a friend, let's call her Mia, who was part of the school's security team. She had the keys to the CCTV room. Just for fun, we'd go in and watch the live feeds. It was our little secret. That evening, Mia texted me that she had be coming to school a bit late but wanted to meet up. I decided to surprise her by waiting in the CCTV room. I thought it would be fun to watch her come in and then jump out and scare her. Childish, I know. But we were in high school, and it seemed like a fun idea at the time. 
I was watching the monitors and everything was as usual. Empty hallways, the school's main gate, the parking lot. Then I saw Mia's familiar figure entering the school gate. I grinned, thinking of how I'd startle her. I watched as she made her way through the hallways, her pace casual, her bag slung over one shoulder. As she got closer to the CCTV room, I turned off the lights inside, making sure it was pitch dark. I could see her silhouette approaching the door. My heart raced in anticipation. I was ready to jump out and give her the scare of her life. But then, something weird happened. The monitor showed Mia stopping just outside of the door, looking around as if she sensed something. I held my breath, waiting for the right moment, and then I jumped out yelling, Boo! But there was no one there. I blinked, confused. I looked around thinking maybe she'd seen me and decided to hide and turn the tables. But the hallway was empty. I rushed back to the monitor rewinding the footage. She was approaching the door, stopping, and then she entered the room. My phone buzzed. It was a text from Mia. Hey, running late. Just left home. Be there in 20. I felt a cold prickle at the base of my neck. If Mia wasn't here yet, then who was on the CCTV camera? Why is the room empty? Maybe it's better that I don't see anyone. I'm paralyzed. My thoughts a jumbled mess. Panic gripped me as I pondered the possible outcomes. Gathering every ounce of courage, I made a dash for the door. Just as I neared it, a fleeting glimpse of a grinning girl appeared in my peripheral vision, rushing towards me as if to grab a hold. I slammed the door shut behind me, my heart pounding so hard I could hear it in my ears. The dimly lit hallway seemed to stretch endlessly and every shadow seemed to dance menacingly. I didn't dare look back, fearing that the grinning girl would be right behind me. I sprinted towards the main exit, my breath coming in ragged gasps. When I finally burst out into the open, the cool night air was a welcome relief. I didn't stop running until I reached the safety of my car. As I drove away, I glanced back at the school building, half expecting to see that eerie face watching me but there was nothing. The next day, me and I reported the incident, but the school found no evidence of any intruder. Story three, Eyes Everywhere, submitted by Jojo. Our school had this strict no phone policy during class hours, so we'd often sneak into the old storage room during breaks to check our messages or to just chill without prying eyes of the teachers. The room was at the end of a long, dimly lit corridor, and it was filled with old desks, chairs, and forgotten textbooks. It was our secret hideout. One day, my best friend Lisa sent me a message during class. It was a link to a website. I clicked on it, and it took me to a live feed of our school's CCTV cameras. I was like, whoa, how did they even find this? She replied, it had been going around, just don't get caught watching it. It was kind of thrilling, being able to see different parts of the school in real time. The cameras covered the hallways, the cafeterias, the gym, and even the parking lot. But what caught my attention was the camera feed from the old storage room. I mean, this was our spot. I clicked on it, half expecting to see my friends goofing off or goofing around, but it was empty. That evening, I was doing my homework. I got a notification on my phone. It was from the CCTV website. Curious, I opened it, and it took me straight to the storage room feed. The room was still empty, but there was a message typed on the screen. I know you're watching. I froze. My heart started racing. I thought it was some kind of glitch or maybe a prank. I quickly closed the website and tried to shake off the eerie feeling. The next day at school, 
I told Lisa about the website. She laughed it off, saying it's probably just someone messing with us. I still felt uneasy. A week later, I was in the storage room with a couple of friends. We were laughing, sharing stories, and just having a good time. Suddenly, my phone buzzed. It was another notification from the CCTV website. Hesitatingly, I opened it. The live feed showed us in the storage room, and then another message popped up on screen. I see you. A frigid draft seemed to whisper down my back. I showed the message to my friends, and we all freaked out. We quickly left the room and decided to stay away from it for a while. I tried to forget about the whole thing, but the notifications kept coming. Every time I was near a camera, I'd get a message. I see you in the hallway. I see you in the cafeteria. I see you in the parking lot. It was like someone was constantly watching me. One evening, as I was leaving the school, I got another notification. This time, it was a picture of me taken from behind with a message, always watching. I was terrified. I reported it to the school authorities. They launched an investigation. They found out that someone had hacked the school CCTV systems. The IP address was tracked back to a house just a few blocks away from the school. The police raided the house and found hundreds of pictures of me and other students. The hacker was a former student who had been expelled a few years earlier. He had been stalking me and several other students for months. The school beefed up its security and the guy was arrested. I became paranoid, always looking over my shoulder, always feeling like someone was watching me.